here at the Bird Blind 2.0 to show all of you how to put in a suspension backup system for our tabs. This is a suspension backup system. It gets installed to the end of a tab and to the tree. The beam moves back and forth on the tab. Sometimes it ends up at the very outside of the tab. And if you imagine a force out on the end of a limb like that, um, it can be a little scary. So the primary function of a backup is to give added strength to a tab. Adding a backup transfers some of that load back up to our point here where our backup is going to be installed. So our first step that we usually do uh, on the ground is connect our swaged end cable to our turnbuckle. And we also unscrew the turnbuckle until the screws are about halfway between totally open and totally closed. So here's our K-nut. And uh, as you can see, threads go all the way through um, one side, and there's a little extra room on the other side. This side goes on first. And you want this position. You need it to be vertical. So you go all the way tight and then back it off until it's where you want it attach our sub suspension system to the K-nut. We're gonna temp it up so we know where to drill our hole for our one inch lag. So here we go, don't drop your cotter pin. Woo! You wanna bend your cotter pin so that thing's not going anywhere. We're just gonna throw in a temp screw so we know where to drill. Cool. Now that we've got our swage temped up, we know where we wanna drill the hole for our one by eight inch lag. Uh, we like to place these 90 degrees uh, to the cable. So that's another thing our temp does is allow us to know what angle it's gonna be at. And we're not gonna drill this thing all the way in. We're gonna give the tree a little room. So this cable's gonna look a little loose on here, but that's how we like it. It is the shaft size um, that allows the hole to be bored and just enough for the threads to grab into the tree. We're gonna leave this much sticking out. So that's as far as I need to drill here. I'm gonna mark it so I don't drill farther into the tree that I have to. Through hole is right there. I also marked it with a Sharpie and that's right where we wanna drill. A Little bit of an angle up. And here we go. So you, as it spins, you can see my Sharpie mark for depth. Um, also, we're going to reverse it a couple times uh, to pull it out and go forward and do a little cleaning out as we, as we work into this hole here. You want to make sure before you drive this screw in that, for one, you connect your swage and you put the washer outside the swage. That'll prevent it from slipping outside. Power impact to start it, um, but after doing this for quite a few years, we realized that it burns out the guns and a one inch lag is a little too much to be putting in with uh, uh, a power impact. So we're just gonna finish it uh, with a pipe wrench here. So this is as far in as we want to drive our one by eight inch lag and that allows the tree to uh, grow a little bit and uh, now we're going to tighten up the turnbuckle. Uh, we don't want to over tighten these things. All it's doing is acting uh, as a little backup in tension here. So we just want it to be in tension. Here you have it. We've got our tab backup suspension kit installed. Thanks for watching. I hope you found some useful tips in these videos. If you need to watch the precursor on installing a tab, it's right here. And don't forget to subscribe up there.